I was on YouTube minding my own business until I saw an ad for a software called Gear Up. Now, apparently, what Gear Up is is basically like an app where it helps you like get to closer servers, if anything like that. Apparently, like a lot of professional streamers use this. And while I was watching the ad, I was like, hmm, I could use some better ping since my ping average at the 25 and I really wanted to go a little bit lower. And I was watching the ad and I saw Asian Jeff and I was like, okay, now I definitely got to check this out. Apparently, it's a free software and that's kind of misleading. I'll tell you why. But if you guys enjoy the video, like it, I'm going to do a whole real review. No ad, no anything. I promise. Enjoy. So what I meant by in the video, how it's not completely free is that to download the software like the one right here it is free but to actually use it you do need to pay a membership like i am right now i bought it five days ago i actually haven't you got to use it yet because i was in the middle of doing i was pretty busy early like the past five days so i haven't had time to use it but now i can finally use it for the video and to actually use it you need to pay a membership you see how it's one for one month is 9.99 12 months it's 399 basically it's like a 59 percent off for the whole year for me i bought the 50 dollar one basically without a, and i couldn't find a coupon so i couldn't use a coupon but i basically bought the 50 dollar one as you guys can see here just to test it out to show you guys if it's legit or fake so this is my ping normally like with it off i don't have it on right now this is just normal it's not the best but it's also not the worst it's something that i won't complain about like i'm not gonna complain about like, those pro streamers that like average like 10 ping and they complain or like shout like 20 ping for me is is enough for me at least as you see now that i'm in the battle bus i'm actually averaging pretty good ping right now i'm not averaging like the worst or the best earlier like in the pre-game lobby it was actually like 10 ping because you know when you're in a pre-lobby you don't get as much ping as you do as when you get into a real game so right now i'm pretty i'm averaging pretty good ping like you see how it's like hitting like around now it's like around like 15 to 20 ping now that's kind of how much i average in a game now i'm gonna try it with the gear booster on now here's the gear up um basically like all the settings you can do you can play like as much games i think you can like boost up to like a thousand plus games at a a time because you can actually boost more than one game at a time i think i mean i don't know why you would do that but like i said you just have to click on boost on fortnite and then click on i think and I click on the, the activation button and it'll load you into the game okay now we're gonna check my ping right now and as you can see it's kind of the same it's 21 now it's one higher it changes every time it's normal Sometimes I've seen it go up to like 40 and I still like, you know, it still shows like the same performance. So you wouldn't, shouldn't really worry about that, but I'm just showing you just in case. So immediately what I noticed using it was that my ping was actually going lower, like so low. And like it got to a point where it went to 16, then 8 ping, then 4 ping. And I was like, wait, is this actually working? I was actually not expecting it to work that much. I was only expecting to go lower by 5 ping, not like a whole like 15 down. But that was short-lived until I actually got into a real game and I started averaging back to like what I used to be. Maybe this wasn't like meant for me. Maybe I wasn't close enough to the service for it to actually work functionally. Because from other like from the ad, apparently it's supposed to like help me like lower my ping if you're already in lower ping already. By the way, like I said in the beginning of the video, this wasn't an ad. I just wanted to see if it actually worked. And for me, it kind of it did work for a little bit, but then it just like suddenly stopped working i guess it just went back to like how it normally was for me maybe it's it's meant for your game to feel way better instead of your ping getting lowered for me i didn't really feel different so i think me personally i thought i kind of wasted 50 dollars for no reason but maybe it just depends on where you live also but hey remember this was just a review you guys could always disagree if you guys find any other experience with this yourself you can always like say that i'm not trying to say you can't get it i'm just saying that for me it didn't really work as I thought it was, but hey, at least it worked for a little bit. And maybe next time I use it, it'll work way better. Maybe just, which is bad luck.